everybody and welcome back to my Sunday list of my top 10 films through the years. Today I'm going to be doing my top 10 of 2013 so I'm really excited because the list here is really exciting. Every film on this list I really really like and I really love and if you ask me to watch any of these films today I'd be like yes I'll watch that so that's always a good sign. Um, it's difficult when you have something on your favourites list that you don't always want to watch like I feel like I could watch these in any mood. So let's just get started with the video. I can't wait to hear your guys' list just down in the comments below. I'm loving adding things to my to watch list through the years by seeing what you guys really love. Um, but the first film on this list is a film that I feel like I've maybe, I don't know, not bashed, but I've like talked lower about over the years, and it is Frozen. I really, really love Frozen, but I just feel like I love Tangled more, and Tangled came out before Frozen. And I feel like Frozen got so much hype, like insane amounts of hype and people loved Frozen and were obsessed with it and Tangled never really got as much credit as Frozen. I just thought Tangled were better. Um, so that's the only reason why I sometimes say, you know, Frozen is a little bit overhyped. However, putting all the hype of Frozen aside, it's still a fantastic movie and I love it. I love the characters, I love the idea, I love the songs. Uh, it's just a really good film. I love Frozen as a Disney film. I'm really looking forward to Frozen 2. I haven't really got much bad to say about Frozen Bar, the fact that Hans is a really drives me crazy, but he's a villain, like he's a really annoying villain, but that's fine. I love Anna, Elsa, Kristoff, Sven, Olaf. Olaf I think is a little bit annoying, but he's still cute. He's I'm not one of the people who finds him, you know, too much. Like I still think he's cute and funny. Again, I like this film, I've watched it a bunch. I'll probably continue to watch it a bunch more throughout time, so yeah, Frozen is still a good film that I really, really do love. Uh, I feel like I just don't give it as much credit because I'm always trying to, I don't know, give the credit to other films that didn't get as much love. But everyone knows Frozen is great, so yeah, Frozen. The next on my list is About Time. This is such a fantastic movie, I love this. It's got Rachel McAdams and Bill Nye and the main guy who I've completely forgotten. And it's like a, ro I've forgotten his real name. And it's like a romantic comedy with time travel and it's got a lot of heart and it's all kind of about family and it's funny and oh, it's, it's amazing. Everybody I've showed this movie to has really enjoyed it. So if you haven't seen About Time, I definitely recommend it. Even if you maybe think it's not your type of thing, I think even if you don't typically watch like romantic comedies or romance movies, this is definitely different and it has enough about it to keep people interested who that's not that type of thing. Margot Robbie is also in this, so you know, if you are interested in seeing her and other things, she's in this movie. Not for very much though, she's in a bit of it. Um, but yeah, love this film, funny, great, definitely would recommend this one. And the next one on the list is We're the Millers. This is a comedy that I loved. Uh, I'm not the hugest comedy fan, well I am when it's done correctly. I feel like comedy can be very hit or miss for me, uh, which I find the same with horror. Um, however, With the Mills hit the nail on the head. I watched it time after time after time after again after I first picked it up and I just loved it. Uh, this one has Jennifer Aniston and a whole bunch of other people in. It's got the guy also from Horrible Bosses whose name I always forget every time so I'm sorry but uh, also Emma Roberts is in this one but I know quite a few people don't like Emma Roberts but she's great in this. Uh, it's basically, it's kind of a weird concept. It's about this guy who decides to create this fake family and go on this kind of fake family road trip to do this kind of weird like drug deal. I'm not sure, it sounds kind of weird but it's so funny and so fantastic and I just love it so much. Again, all of these I would watch today happily and if there was enough time in all the day I would watch every single one of these on this list right now, today. Like making this list I was like yes, I want to watch this and this and this, I just want to watch everything. Uh, yes, With the Mills is very funny, I love it, it's one of my favourite comedies of recent years so definitely check that one out. The next one on the list is Catching Fire. Catching Fire is one of my favourite books. I thought the book was fantastic. Catching Fire is my favourite of the Hunger Games series in film and book form. Um, and I find that the book to movie adaptation of this one was really spot on. Um, the others are good as well but this one just really hit the nail on the head and I just love it so much. It's the most interesting, I think it's the most intense. Um, I just, it's the one that I've watched the most times. Uh, I mean you've probably all heard of this film so I don't really need to go into detail about it but it's absolutely one of my favourite films I put it you know in my top 50 favourite films of all time I love this film uh, to be fair a lot of these would be in my top you know definitely my top 100 they're all really fantastic uh, but yeah Catching Fire is brilliant I'm sure you've seen it if not I'm sure you've heard of it and if you haven't seen The Hunger Games yet 
you really need to check them out because especially the first two they're brilliant mocking j part one and two are good um but they kind of they are different i really enjoy them but they're not quite the same they're like a different enjoyment anyway it doesn't matter i'm sure you've heard of them i won't go into it too much the next one on this is the secret life of walter mitty <sighs> this film is so good and let me tell you i bought this on a monday movie hunt um and i remember it was easter time and i picked it up um I started watching it and I kind of thought, mm, I'm not really enjoying this. And I only got to the point where he was kind of about to get on the helicopter, so he hadn't even really set off on a journey yet. Um, I think that's kind of where I got to. Like, he hadn't really, the film hadn't really got kicked in. Um, if you've seen the film, you might know what I mean. And I kind of turned it off and was like, mm, I don't know if I'm enjoying that. And then a few years later, or maybe even a year later, I don't know, I went back to it. And I, I, it must have been the kind of the right place at the right time with this film because it just was so perfect I loved it so much I thought the music was fantastic I thought everything about it was visually brilliant and I loved this film I completely fell in love with it the second time I tried to watch it um, so you know sometimes I find that interesting like if you watched a film and you weren't enjoying it and you thought I'm not really into this or, or, or things like that and then sometimes when you revisit them you could just have again watch it at the right time and it kind of works better uh, but yeah I loved this and then I watched it multiple multiple times after that I just kind of kept watching it I thought it was brilliant I included it in one of the Tuesday night movie nights and again I would watch it a million times over I think it's a really really great film and I absolutely love this definitely check out Secret Life of Walter Mitty if you enjoy travel I think it's a great film um, for you know if you like traveling I think it's fantastic so yeah really brilliant film that I kind of overlooked the first time I tried to watch it so definitely kind of keep with it maybe the first bit's a little bit um, not as fun I don't know I don't know why I gave up on it the first time Anyway, the next film on the list is Safe Haven. Safe Haven is a Nicholas Sparks movie uh, adaptation. I know some people are like, oh, Nicholas Sparks movies, but I really like them. And Safe Haven is my absolute favourite Nicholas Sparks movie adaptation. Um, I really, really love this film. I've watched it, I don't know, probably 15, 20 times. And I always show it to people as well. It's kind of just one of those that I enjoy to um, share with other people because... It is kind of a romance and it is, you know, a drama and, you know, it's kind of got like Nicholas Sparks vibes. But it's also kind of got a bit of a thriller mystery element, which um, just kind of completely drew me in because I love any kind of mystery or anything like that going on. And I think some people can be a little bit disappointed with the end. But for me, I just really, really, really like it. And it just, I don't know, it's really sad and it's really sweet. It's got those great kind of mushy Nicholas Sparks vibes, but it's also got kind of a... Uh, a really interesting overall story that you're trying to figure out. I love the characters, and yeah, I just I love this film. Again, I'd watch it today. I'd watch it whenever, forever. Love it. And the next one on my list is The Heat. Uh, okay, this one is also a comedy, and we have Melissa McCarthy, who I love, and Sandra Bullock, who I also love. Uh, this film's really really funny. It's about two um, cops who get put on a job together, and they don't really get along at first. So it's kind of like a um, buddy cop movie. Uh, with two lead female actresses which I think is awesome uh, I love this film I've watched it a whole bunch I think it's really really funny and again it's just got two of my kind of favorite female actresses in so I just I really really like it um I don't have too much to say about it I haven't watched it for a while but when I did watch it the first time I watched it multiple times over actually I saw this in the cinema I saw this in the cinema um, on the same day as I saw something else that's on this list. So two of the things I saw in the cinema in uh, 2013 are on the list. And I saw it in the cinema and then I, I obviously bought the DVD and I've continued to watch it many times since. Yeah, Love the Heat, great funny movie with two great awesome actresses. The next one on my list is just such a great movie. And it's Saving Mr. Banks. This movie is just so good. I feel like on paper it might have sounded like it wasn't going to be as amazing as it was. Uh, basically it's got Tom Hanks and Emma Thompson which I mean they obviously both of them I feel like are amazing I've never seen a bad film with either of them in so you know ignoring that just the plot itself basically we have uh, Walt Disney and P.L. Travers and it's Walt Disney trying to get the rights to Mary Poppins written by P.L. Travers and the kind of story behind that and um, P.L. Travers's kind of childhood as well interweaved and I think that on paper it might sound like it would be a little bit slow or um, all things like that but it really really isn't it's really fantastic and um, Tom Hanks plays Walt Disney and Emma Thompson plays P.L. Travers and it's just amazing 
Um, if you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend it. Um, me and my mum watched it together for the first time. We just both thought it was incredible. And then I think we both watched it together the second time. And then it was also on a plane ride we were on one time. And so she's watched it multiple times as well. Uh, which my mum doesn't really rewatch things too much. Um, and I've watched it over and over and over again a bunch of times. I think it's a fantastic film. Really amazing. And I think Tom Hanks and Emma Thompson are amazing in this. Like some of their best um, stuff. So yeah, love Saving Mr Banks. And the final one on my list is the one that I saw on the same day when I saw The Heat. And it's The Croods. I love The Croods. I think it's my favourite DreamWorks movie. I don't know, it's difficult because I love How to Train Your Dragon as well. So it's kind of always a tie up between The Croods, How to Train Your Dragon. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, The Croods is really, really, really funny. It's about this fun little cave family. And it's just, it's just the best. I feel like no one could watch The Crews and not leave with a smile. I've watched it multiple, multiple times and I just think it's so funny. I absolutely can't wait for The Crews 2. I really hope that they do it well. I'm sure they will actually because DreamWorks does pretty good sequels. Like, you know, How to Train Your Dragon 2 is fantastic. I'm pretty much nearly on par with How to Train Your Dragon 1. And I feel like I might prefer Kung Fu Panda 2 than 1. And Shrek 2 is fantastic. And I think, again, it's... I can't decide which one I prefer so I'm sure they will they will do it justice and I absolutely cannot wait I love this movie it's one of my favourite animated films like, like I say I'm not sure it's my favourite DreamWorks like The Croods How to Train a Dragon I, I don't know uh, but I really really love it so yeah that was my top 10 of 2013 all of these films I absolutely love again it was a little bit difficult there was some that were almost on the list oh no I haven't finished there's one left Whew. Whew, we were just finishing it up I haven't even finished the list okay finally Number 10, you all have been like, that's 9, I wonder if anyone would have noticed, I don't know, um, is Prisoners. Prisoners is kind of a different film for this, so it's definitely darker. Um, it's a really fantastic film though, I love the end of this film, I think it's a very interesting film um, to watch with other people. I think it's just a really fantastic film all round, so basically it's about these, uh, this man whose daughter goes missing, I haven't watched this one for a while, and I also don't want to give anything away, so I'm just trying to think. Um, his daughter goes missing. I think two. Do two little girls go missing? Like a daughter and a friend or just one? I'm not sure but there's a, there's a father and there's a policeman and obviously the policeman's trying to find this uh, this daughter. And it's about this missing child and kind of the, the hunt for the child but it, it, it kind of gets very interesting and I, I don't really want to give anything away but it's got a fantastic cast. It's a fantastic suspenseful film. It's in it, I don't know, I feel like you would have heard of it and I feel like everyone, it got a lot of praise and it was definitely well deserved uh, when it came out and it's a really really fantastic film. So yes, that and I really want to watch that again soon because I've only seen it twice, uh, it's probably the one I've seen the least actually on this whole list and I just think it's fantastic so I need to rewatch that one again and I know that Josh hasn't seen it and so I'm desperate for him to see uh, Prisoners because it is a brilliant film I know he'll really enjoy it and I can't wait to discuss the film with him after it's finished, it's one of those films. Um, so yeah, that was my top 10 of 2013. Let me know in the comments below your list. Uh, I really enjoyed filming this one. Thumbs up if you enjoyed these videos. We've not got too many left, but, um, you know, they'll keep being here on Sundays until the end. And I'll see you then. Goodbye!